this video we're going to focus on learning some basic formatting in Excel 2010. So let's uh, take a look at the uh, top. In, in the um, Home tab, we see this little Paint Bucket tool. It's, it's actually the fill color. If you just hit down the drop down box, you can actually choose the color you wish to change the cell to. If you like green, you can choose green. I'm going to click on these two cells, click and drag, and you can change the color to yellow and this is very very useful if you have a nice uh, spreadsheet of information and you can uh, you can colorize a certain elements and and let's try some some other basic formatting here we already previously talked about how you can actually change the the width and column of the rows so this is already uh, changing the look and feel of your of your spreadsheet and let's just uh, try something interesting here I'm gonna actually highlight all of this and change the fill color to to uh, no fill, so there's no fill here. I'm going to do something interesting here. I'm going to right click row one, the actual number, row one, and go to the uh, little uh, paint bucket tool here and, and change this to to gray. Let's just make it uh, medium gray there. And then I'm going to right click row two, and uh, I can even go to format cells here if you wish. You don't have to change it uh, here, but it looks like it's it's uh, very conveniently located here. I'm going to make this a darker gray and I'm going to right click um, row 3 and then change this. I'll do it a third way. Go to format cells. Notice how you can go to fill color and there's always more than one way of doing things in, things in Excel. I'm going to make this a, even a darker gray. Click OK. So notice how we have kind of three shades of gray and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on row 1 and drag so I'm highlighting all three rows and I'm going to right click and I'm going to change the row height you can do this similarly with uh, the columns so as I change the row height I'm going to change it to just say 5 notice how thin and skinny uh, that looks and that's uh, quite beautiful so I'm going to highlight 5, 6, 7, right click, row height, well actually let me change the, the colors here, I'll, I'll right click row 5, I'm going to just the, uh, change it quickly over here to uh, dark gray, right click row 6, I'll just change it quickly here to lighter gray, and right click, I'll just change it right here to uh, even lighter gray, was it that one we used? Maybe. So I will highlight all three rows by clicking on the numbers, right click, and row height. Just make it five. Now look at that. Doesn't that look like some kind of laser beam? So what we have here is I'm going to just uh, click here and I'm going to type in, I have lots of time to waste because I'm so good at Excel. So I read one article that said that someone got so good at Excel that they actually finished their work week within a few hours and and uh, they were just so good at it and fortunately uh, so many people wanted to know how to save time so this person who was working actually ended up uh, just spending more time helping others to learn how to be such an Excel ninja. So notice how we um, have so much time to waste so therefore we have time to make your spreadsheets look professional and pretty and you must uh, admit this certainly looks pretty and let me just finish off by uh, highlighting multiple cells here from A to E and I'm going to click on this button called Merge and Center. Merge and Center is a very powerful uh, button here. When you click on it, it merges all these cells uh, such that this is treated as one cell and this is nice because it's automatically centered and we have a very very pretty well formatted document. Congratulations!